Okay, so we're going to carry on with part two of this video, <laughs> paper 2, 2014, AS exam. It says extract and print a report which lists only the lists only the employee number, first name, family name, job description, pay grade, pay rate, office currency of all employees paid in Thai baht or US dollars. Group this report into a sending order of office name. Sort each group into descending order of pay grade. Okay, so that's quite easy. We open up our <coughs> database. There it is. And <coughs> before you can do a report or anything, you've got to create a query. You always create a query first. So you go to query design. Hold, hold down shift and add them. And there we go. They're all there. Okay. <coughs> so what do they want? Let's make that smaller. Oh, my computer's a bit slow. So what do they want? Employee number. So they want first name, family name, first name, family name, family name, job description, job description, pay grade. First name, pay grade, pay rate, office and currency. Office. Currency, what else do they want? And pay rate. And pay rate. Okay. And then they want it in currency, Thai bat or US dollars. Okay. Now the best thing I do is I go to the employees table. You can do it all. And I go and get the, uh, the salaries table. Where is it? Go to the currency. Where's currency? And I copy it. Copy. I go to my query. Go look for currency. There's currency. There's the criteria. So, go control tab it. Or US dollars just to get the spelling right let's see if it works what else did they want group this report into ascending order of office name so where's office name there's office we want to sort it and we go like that and ascending <coughs> okay look what it says there sort each group into descending order of pay grade. That's group. That's we do that somewhere else, and I'll show you where. Okay, so we got Tibet or US dollars. Let's go to design, and then we run the query, and there it is. Let's check the query out. We got Tibet and US dollars, and nothing else. So our query seems to be right. Okay. Now we've got to do the report. So we go create. Now watch this carefully. We go to create. <coughs> report wizard. Save the query. Yes. You can call it anything. You can call it TB and US dollars. Something like that. Or anything. Okay. Now we know that's our query there. So we went create, to get this, we went create, report wizard. Just put them all across. Okay, we go next. And now what did it say? It wants it by office. We click by office, so we know employees. It's got all the stuff in there. We go next, and office had to be on top. And there's office. 
Okay. Okay, next. And pay grade descending. Okay, pay grade descending. We go next and we go finished. Okay, so here we have it, our report. What do we have to do? Close print preview. We want to sort it out, get it all sorted and looking good. So you go to home view, layout view. So home view, layout view, close this. And you can see the name's not showing. So you click on office and you make it bigger. Pay grade, you can make it smaller. Let's see, first of all, if it's landscape or portrait. Okay, what must it be in? Which is an certain group descending on a pay, this group the report, page on a and I'm in the header. It must fit on a single page wide. It's got to fit on a single page wide. It doesn't tell you whether it must be landscape or portrait. So let's make it landscape, obviously. They didn't tell us, so I'm going to make it landscape. Just gives us more space to work with. Okay. So page, we can see something's going wrong here. Remember, your headings and all your information on the page must fit. Okay, first names. His first name, it's quite a big lot of, you can see somebody's got some huge name here. And let's make it, okay, there we go. Job description, you can see there's some missing here. Scout was missing. Now guys, can you see this here? It's got like these, these blocks here. You know there's a problem, all you gotta do is pull it out. Okay. And there we go. If they wanted you to do the total of this group, to add it all up, the sum, all you do is you right click on there, and you go to total pay rate, and you click on sum or average or whatever. Okay. If they wanted you to count the records, Come to the second or the first one, you go there, and you go to count records. Okay, it's quite easy. Okay, but they didn't want you to do that, they just wanted you to do this, and make sure that everything's there. And it's descending. Can you see your, your pay grades descending? J-L-H-E-B-A. So it's descending. Okay, so that's quite cool. What's the next thing we must do? Um, and a suitable, add a suitable title to the report. So they want a suitable title. You can say pay grades in Thai bad or US dollars. Okay. There's it. Now they want us to put our name, all that stuff somewhere on the report. You design it. You always put your name in the page footer. Okay, your name always goes in the page footer. Page footer or the report header. Okay, over here somewhere or anywhere, wherever they say you go. So your calculations get done in the report footer your name goes in the page footer. What do they want with our names? Um, we didn't print it. Add a suitable title of the report, page your name in the header of the report. So they want your name in the header. So they want it, yeah. Click on capital A, and you place your name there. Name. J-O-P. Um, G-A-0-1-9, whatever it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there you go. Let's view it. Go back to report view, and there it is. There's our name, that's about three marks. That's a mark, shows everything, that's a mark. Currency, two decimal places, is a couple of marks. Um, pounds will be a mark. Um, and that's about it. There's your report. You'll get about another three, four, placed in a descending order and all those places. So there's the report, that's done. That's the first one done. You must save it. So we've done this one. Okay, it's quite easy. And you know how to do that. Nine marks for that report. 
Okay, now the next one, step 13, is even easier to do, okay? That's quite easy. First of all, let's save this one. Right click, save. Remember, we've got to print it out, okay? Every time you finish a report, you must print it out. Well, print. Print. Let's have a look what it says. And there's it. it looks all good. Page setup. You could go to page setup. Let's have a look. That's fine. Okay. Close print view. And you can print it in print, uh, print preview or you can print it using this. And there it is. Okay. It's okay. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So we saved it. I'm going to close that and there we go close this query save it we did save it and I'm going to close it. okay so what's the next thing we must do let's start with a clean sheet again close close don't have to do that but I'll just do it because it's more tidy the managing director wants you to compare oh wait where are we Oh, okay. For each of the nine offices, calculate the average earnings of the employees. Sort this data in the sending of office name. And then the spanning office name and average earnings. Okay. So, step 13. For each of the nine offices, calculate the average earnings of the employees. Sort this data into a sending order of office name. Apply appropriate formatting to the data and display only the office name and the average earnings as a table in your evidence document. Okay, that's quite easy. We're going to create, I told you, every time we do something, you first do the query first. So there you go. And we go like that and we go add. Okay, and we close it. What do they want? They want on the calculate average earnings of the employees. Okay, so we know the average earnings, office name and average earnings. So we go office name and pay rate. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to do this, okay? You got this, can you see on the left here? You got field, table, sort, show criteria all. All you have to do is click on the E there and away we go. Pay rate, you go group by. What do they want to group by? Average earnings. Look there, they said. Average earnings. Okay. Then sort the state in ascending order and we got to sort it. A send in order send in order and that's it let's run our report well we're running our query but there it is okay and what do they want us to do they want us to export this into a suitable software package so we can create a graph we go back to it let's have a look read your thing Calculate average on the employees sort this data into a sending order of office name. You can see it says sending order, bank or car as I A B C D F. Okay, and display only the office name as a table in your evidence document. So they want it as a table. Where do you make a table? Excel. Okay. So all you gotta do is you go to export, not import, we're exporting. We we send in it somewhere. And we're gonna in, send it to an Excel database. So you click on Excel and browse because you've got to put it into your folder my folder is on my desktop it's called Joe P so we go to Joe P click on Joe P click on Joe P and there it is and I can leave a query one and you save it then you click here export data with formatting allowed and open it and go OK And then we open it. Now they want they want this as a table in your evidence document. Okay. So all you have to do is make sure you can rename that. Make it all nice. You can make a page and you can do this. And you
you can go home, give it grid lines. There you go. And you can copy it into your evidence evidence sheet. Okay? Copy paste. Easy. Okay. The reason why I put it in Excel, it makes sense in a couple of minutes. The managing director wants to compare graphically the total salaries paid by each office. Create a graph or chart to display for each of the nine offices the percentage of the total salaries paid to the employees. Fully label this chart and include it in your evidence document. It's quite easy. Go like that. And create a chart. You can go find a chart. Let's see if it open works well. And there it is. And everything's there. Best way to do this is maybe like that. And there we go. You can grab it there, move it in. Grab it there, move it in. It's just because it's got such big names, they're going to put it on the outside. But you could do something like that. Okay. You go to the layout view, you go to chart title. Above chart, okay. They've got it there, but if you didn't know how to do it, I'll just show you. What's the chart title? You can go average pay rate average pay rate there you go okay you can have legends or data labels you can put a legend on there show legend on the right top whatever you want to do but i'm going to leave it like this at the minute okay you copy that put it in your evidence paper so they've got it okay so you can see how, how, how to do that the manager director is considering closing two offices. He wants to compare the graph or chart created in step 14 with new version. Edit the chart created in the step 14 due to exclude the data for Mali and Tawara. Well, that's quite easy. Just do the same. So that you take out, go there, hide that line, and where's Tawara? Oh, I mean Marley. There's Marley. Click on it. Hide it. And you go like that. Insert. And pi. Click on there. And there we go. You bring it in. Chart title. Um, okay, there we go. So there we go. And that's it. Copy paste it into your into your thing okay so that's basically it for step two